from creating a human-pig hybrid to bringing back extinct animals from the Ice Age, here are nine creepiest modern scientific experiments. Number nine, trapped inside a mouse. This one hasn't gone wrong yet, but it certainly has the potential to do so. Researchers at La Hala Institute have found a way to have human brain cells inside the head of a mouse. Imagine what mice could be capable of with the same intelligence as humans. They do this by injecting embryonic human brain cells into the brains of fetal mice while they're still inside the womb. This took place in 2005 and it was a success. They were able to create mice with human brain cells inside their skull. About 100,000 human brain cells were injected and it seems to show that human stem cells can interact in various environments. They claim that the mice's behavior didn't change too much, but you have to wonder what's going inside their head. Could these be the mice from Pinky and the Brain cartoon show? Number 8. Robot Astronaut the Robonaut is NASA's first humanoid astronaut robot, and he could be the future of space technology. He's even got his own Twitter page. How much more lifelike can you get? It almost makes more sense for robots to be astronauts instead of humans, considering how the job can get quite dangerous. This is only the beginning of robots taking our traditional jobs. His human counterparts need to be stocked full with food, water, and a bathroom. No fancy space suits or oxygen masks for this 8-foot tall robot. Before we actually get a man to Mars, this robot could be there first. His eyes are actually four visible light cameras inside his golden helmet. The robot seems to be getting more lifelike as the years go by. NASA finally gave him a pair of legs too. Taking a look at this thing and you have to be a little bit creeped out by it, right? If not, don't worry, we got plenty of more creepy ones coming up. Number 7. Artificial Wombs Scientists are getting pretty close to the point where animals might not even need a mother for them to reproduce. Here we see the artificial womb that this lamb fetus is inside. It kind of looks like a large plastic bag with some pipes and tubes. Could this someday completely replace natural births in the future? The goal of this research is to actually see if they can increase the quality of life of babies who suffer from various birth defects and not completely change the reproductive cycle. Others who are hoping this works are women who become sterile due to uterus issues or same-sex couples who don't want to have to pay for a surrogate mother. This would of course be a pro to this research if that were to develop to that stage but what about the cons? Others claim that the government is planning on sterilizing everyone and will use this as a way to control the population. Would they do that? Number 6. De-extinction. Hey guys, it's Weird Science here to help explain this weird, creepy scientific experiment that you might be familiar with from Jurassic Park. Many of you might think it would be cool to bring back some extinct animals from the past, but it can lead to some issues. Extinct animals such as the Pyrenean ibex, which are found in the Pyrenees Mountains, were actually cloned, but they didn't last too long. Frozen skin samples were used for the genetic material required, and a domestic goat was used as a surrogate mother. This is still a very complicated process, and we're certainly not ready to bring back the dinosaurs just yet. Scientists are also looking into bringing back a few woolly mammoths by using an Asian elephant as a surrogate mother in an extremely expensive project. There's certainly enough preserved mammoth DNA out there, but due to the cost and the complexity of the project, it's gonna at least be another three years before we can see one. Other scientists have proposed using the artificial womb we mentioned earlier to avoid issues with the difference between mammoth and Asian elephant pregnancies. Some believe that the current conditions on Earth are too different for them to survive in modern times, but it's worth a shot, right? They would only be kept at zoos and would be closely observed. No one knows for sure what would happen if we re-released an extinct animal into the wild again. You have to be a little curious if they've already cloned humans in some secret military base. That's all for me right now, but be sure to learn more about weird scientific experiments on my channel, Weird Science. Number 5. Pig Blood Transfusion Would you be able to live your life normally knowing that you were full of pig's blood? Would you still feel human or not really? Well, you might have to ask yourself this question someday since scientists are experimenting with pig blood transfusions as a possible way to keep people alive in the future. This is known as xenotransfusions and this really isn't a new idea. It was experimented with in 1658 by Jean-Baptiste Denis when they transfused a carotid artery from a lamb into a 15-year-old's elbow, and it worked. However, three years later, the French forbid any more experimentations on this due to ethical reasons. 
In modern times, experimentation has continued with pig blood transfusion, which was the animal who surprisingly has the most similar blood to humans. Biologists are also planning on genetically engineering pigs to produce type O blood, which is even more similar to human blood. Could this someday become a more feasible option than getting blood from blood donors? Or is there just something too taboo about this whole scenario? The experiment of a pig heart and lug transplant in India ended a complete failure after a week, so it's a risky thing to test out. Number 4. Frankenswine a genetically modified pig known as the Enviro pig by researchers or the Frankenswine by many protesters contained DNA of mice and even genes from the E. coli bacteria. Sounds like a pork chop you don't want to eat. This is one of the many examples where genetic modifying farm animals has gone wrong. This was to help pigs consume higher amounts of phosphorus more efficiently. The pigs were later euthanized when Canada decided to pull funding on the GE experiment. The stories of Frankenswine don't end there. Cambridge University is also looking for more ways to genetically alter pigs in order to reduce their mental capacity, which will ultimately lead them to being stress-free and less aggressive. In the end, their goal is to turn them into lobotomized zombies who are less intelligent and cognitively aware. Farmers believe this will make the pigs less resistant on farms and easier to control, which will also result in less mental illnesses. But just thinking about these genetic experiments makes you wonder if someday it'll end up being used on humans. Number 3. CRISPR-Cas9 Modern scientists seem to be extremely fascinated with DNA in our genetics in modern times, and maybe it could be the answer for many issues. CRISPR-Cas9 is basically a new reliable way to make precise and targeted changes to the genome of living cells, and this is quite a huge discovery for biomedical researchers. Once Cas9 is introduced, scientists have the option to insert or delete different genetics. Not only is it inexpensive, it's also efficient, and they don't really believe it will have any effect on non-targeted genomes. However, it's not 100% accurate and sometimes they can miss. For human cells, the targeting efficiencies range anywhere from 70 to 80% as opposed to older established methods. In a few years after seeing some drastic improvements in gene editing, you have to wonder if we'll be able to select certain genes we don't want to show up in our children. At first, it'll most likely be something such as hereditary diseases, but there might be some doctors out there who are ready to give you the perfect baby by this method. Then, you have to wonder about the 20% or so where the gene was not properly targeted and another gene such as behavior or good genetic qualities are removed. Experiments on mice are being conducted to further research this scenario before it comes possible. In any case, for the moment, it appears to be a double-edged sword and many are excited to see what it will lead to. Making this type of technology too easy and effective might lead to some crazy experiments like mammals, spliced with reptiles, and so on. Number 2. Human-Pig Hybrid Created They are really doing a lot of crazy stuff with pigs nowadays, and someday we'll probably look back and see how much of this is unethical. Michael Swindle, author of Swine in the Laboratory, says that if something works in the pig, then it has a high possibility of working on a human. In one of the more recent controversial experiments in 2017, scientists announced that they created a successful human-pig hybrid. Human cells were introduced into a pig and were able to survive and even grow. This is what's known as a chimera, and it contains cells from two different species. Here we see the successful experiment of the pig embryo injected with human stem cells at four weeks old in this controversial experiment. This has also been tried on mice and such in the past, but it seems to be the first time humans really got involved. They attempted to introduce rat stem cells in the pig blastocysts, or early stages of a fetus, but this certainly did not work because their genomes are too different. The ultimate goal was to see if there was a way to harvest human organs inside pigs. However, the private company that conducted the research felt quite a bit of ethical duty to destroy the embryo. Do you think they should have continued with the research, or did they do the right thing? Let us know in the comments section. And number 1. Human Head Transplant In case you thought this kind of thing was completely science fiction, think again. An Italian neuroscientist is actually planning a human head transplant this year in December 2017. A man from Russia that we see in this photo with a debilitating disease known as Wernig-Hoffman disease is willing to be the guinea pig for this scenario in hopes of living a more normal life. This disease causes motor neurons to have difficulty communicating with the brain, resulting in semi-paralysis. The doctors are 99% sure that it'll work, but it'll take roughly two years to recover from. The head of the Russian man will be placed on a body donor from China, and the entire procedure will take roughly 36 hours. 
Tests on animals haven't really produced much promising results either, with many of them rejecting the new body and passing away only shortly later. The most frightening part of this whole procedure is that they're basically going to have to decapitate this guy on the operating table, which seems quite risky. Despite all the risks, the man is pretty eager for the surgery and claims it's worth the risk. The disease he currently has will kill him soon either way, and he feels as though it's an important scientific contribution. Would you risk your life for this type of procedure or live the rest of your life in a wheelchair? Tough decisions. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day.